Yes, yes. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, once again to another Geek Culture Congress. I'm one of your hosts, as always, Lil Speedy Jr. Gonzalez, accompanied by the very famous and talented and funny Mr. Tarek Lewis. Tarek, what's going on with you? Lil Tarek Lewis, thank you very much. <laughs> Lil Tarek. Right. Lil Tarek, right yeah. Yeah. And of course, uh, the number one nighttime jock here in Tampa, Florida, Mr. Joy Franchise, Wild 941, is in the building. You're back. You're back. We're all back. Yes, we're all back with a full show here, um, here at uh, Geek Culture Congress. And uh, man, we are playing catch up because we haven't had a get. Well, everybody's been taking their summer vacations and uh, been a little disconnected and stuff. But uh, we're finally uh, getting on back on track here on the show. And uh, we're going to talk about. The Phase 4 Marvel Cinematic Universe lineup announced at uh, San Diego mm-hmm. Comic-Con. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> You're so excited, Tarek. What happened? Oh, so what happened? Tell us what happened. I'm not, you know. So show us where Car- Karen Figge hurt you. I did not you. None of that list? Not really. Show me on the phone where Karen Figge hurt you. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Feige, man. Figge. Feige. 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 Kevin, call us, okay? Tell us how you say your last name. Yeah. Tweet us, all right? We need all the right. clout. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh man so let's see the lineup of course the first movie let's talk about let's get into it is black panther mm-hmm. and uh we have a date for black panther of i don't know if this is right may 1st 2020 22 22, 22. yeah or, 20. or 23 they haven't come out no, with the exact no, date 20, yet. I, it says 20 here but i might be wrong which one are you looking it's at supposed that? to go all the way to 22 the whole lineup oh okay but uh, think, the first movie is in 20 i the, think black panther is like the, uh, no black panther sorry black widow Sorry, did Black I say Black Widow? Panther? Yeah, See, that's what happens when you Don't come. Don't disrespect the king. <laughs> out here. When you yeah, get your blacks real. mixed up, okay? <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> that happens a lot in my job. <laughs> oh, man. Let's not get into that. Anyway, Black Widow, ladies and gentlemen. Black Widow. Yeah. Are you looking forward to that, Kevin? Uh, um, are you looking forward to that, uh, Mr. Uh, Terry? No, I am not. No, why not? Well, you, I've, you think uh, that's a beaten horse? Well, they've done what? Red Sparrow, right? Mm-hmm. This is the movie they did a year ago. Right. Um... I've seen Wanted. Right. Um, <laughs> Gina Davis had a movie back in the day called Long Kiss Goodnight. Uh huh. Um, Black Samuel Widow. Samuel Jackson was in that. Actually. Yeah, that yeah. Was good. Any Charlize Theron movie past two thousand nine, Eon mm. Flux. It's all gonna be like I, I'm not expect expecting a very intriguing story. I expect it to be pretty similar to something we've seen before. But it could be cool. It could be action packed and cool yeah. and just fun. So yeah, I, I'll, so, I'm gonna check it out. Of course, I'm a fan. So my my question to all of you is, I mean, I, it doesn't look like it's gonna go the Red Sparrow route, you know, a, a little bit maybe. I think it's gonna touch it, but I think, you know, they're gonna get into some more Marvel stuff, you know. Uh, uh, from what I took from the trailer, the little sneak peek trailer, mm-hmm. at least the description of the trailer. Had you released that trailer on the on? On which one? The the Black Widow trailer. Not yet. They I've, showed I've it. Heard, I've heard descriptions about it. Yeah, I've, I've read the description yeah. about it, and it seems from the description it doesn't seem like that's the route they're going. Per se. It's going to be interesting. I think we're going to see like a lot of those visions that she saw in yeah. Age of Ultron yeah. Yeah. come to fruition and that play a part. Obviously, they're going to give her more of a backstory. Right. And um, uh, Taskmaster is going to be the main bad. In Which there. I, I, that's one of my favorite. I like that villain. Yeah, He's that's really that's villain. pretty cool. So, I mean, I'm not as hyped as for it either, but it, it's Marvel and it's there. It exists. It exists. I'm going to check so it out. It's like, all right, cool. Yeah. You ever so, notice that Black Sparrow does that same move all the time? She's like a, one of those cruiserweight wrestlers. <laughs> she always does that. Yeah, she always does the the wrestling move. Blackwood always does that jump. She like where she puts her arms around your neck. Yeah, right. I wouldn't mind if it was Scarlett Johansson putting yeah. her arms around my neck. But Apparently, flipping everybody around. I feel like that's her like go to move go-to all the time. <laughs> Apparently, David Harbor is going to be yeah. uh, the uh, antagonist. He's going to be playing. He's going to be, um, I guess whatever the whatever the Russian counterpart of yeah. Captain America is in the comic book. I forget what yeah, it's what called the, right now. There was um, a Red Skull was the counterpart. Nah, but they, oh, no, no, but there was you know the British the British something. There was um the Brit. I forget his name now. Captain Britain. Captain, Captain, Captain Britain, Britain or something Captain like that. Britain, yeah, mm, the British. Captain Britain. And they Captain introduced America. him somewhere. I don't know where. I don't know if it was a TV show or or uh, oh they alluded to him in the end of uh, Endgame. Um, when, I'm, oh, when, yeah. when when she was when were in the past did. and and uh, she was talking with um in in the old in the old shield bunker yeah she so was talking when about Cap, uh, she, when Cap she, saw she her. like mentioned his name like uh Major Braddock or something like that oh, okay. I guess yeah. his last name yeah she like little little, little mention when was know? this in Endgame that was it was but it was very subtle such a very subtle Easter egg if you weren't paying attention you no. so like you when Cap it. got when Cap saw her saw Peggy yeah she, when she was in the he, uh, he like got stuck and he, right. you could just hear her conversation right. yeah yeah uh-huh. okay and he was just staring at her like oh he was in a, he was in a daze <laughs> yeah. mm. oh man so uh, you know I 
I withhold judgment. Let's see how what the movie is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, like it's, definitely. It's gotta, definitely. It's, some things got to happen in this movie that have to do with probably where the, the movie the movies are gonna go. You know, I, if you're if you're asking about my excitement level, my excitement level is not high. Like a five but, out of ten. I'll re, I, I'll review like a it four fairly. out of ten. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm not super excited about this yeah. at all. Fair enough. Well, but it is Marvel, so. Your Gotta boy, support. the Falcons, got his own uh, TV show on, um, on Disney Plus. Yeah. Yeah, Falcon and Winter Soldier. That's what's coming up next. That's going to be coming out in fall 2020 on the Disney Plus uh, streaming service. So, how about that? What's about your excitement on that, Tarek? Yeah, I'm not that excited. No, that. not either. <laughs> well, listen, I'm, I'm more excited. I'm more excited. Well, I'm not excited about having to get Disney Plus. Well, yeah, no, that's, I'm not that's excited about thing. having to have it. <clears throat> if you there, had, you know, the things that I have, Tarek, you wouldn't have these problems. You know? I'm not going to jail with you. <laughs> yeah, sure. We're not, come on, man. I ain't trying to get that Bob Iger email yeah. or nah. They gotta catch me. Anyway, um, <laughs> um so I, listen, I like Anthony Mackie is a uh, yeah one of my favorite characters in the whole Marvel thing. I like his, I like his performance and uh, Winter Soldier. I find very, very interesting. Um, pairing it, putting them together, I'm cool with. I yeah. just. You know, I got Agents of Shield. Uh, you know, I have some some lingering effects from Agents of Shield. Like, I'm not a fan of Agents of Shield. I didn't like right. the way they, it was done the first two seasons. That, that's good that you I brought like that up either. because I, I'm gonna put that together with Disney Plus and, and Marvel TV in a minute. A question. Okay. Well, you're bootlegging yeah. it also. Doesn't <laughs> yeah, I'm the, <laughs> yeah. Kind of catch um, me. So, I mean, I'm curious to see what they do. Again, this is another one. If they do it really well, yeah. then cool. Um, I think that it's gonna be natural. For, to compare these shows on Disney Plus to what Netflix did, mm. um, and I'm hoping that because it's Disney that they don't they don't take away the edge of what some of these things can have. Like, hmm. I want to see Winter Soldier kill people. You know what I mean? I know <laughs> he's right. a hero now, you but see I blood. Wanna, yeah, enough. I want to see him kill people, man. And you know, Falcon. I, if they do the Captain America from the comic book situation, yeah. I'll be cool with that. Right. But we'll see. Hmm. I'm more. I'll get that. I'm, I'm, I'm a seven you, out of ten on that. I'm How you feel about this Falcon Winter Soldier? I think it's actually. I think something's going to be have to do with something that happens in Black Widow that comes back and creeping up into the now into the plot of probably Falcon and Winter Soldier because it seems like that that's that spy you know espionage espionage uh, world of. Marvel Cinematic Universe, you know, they're both kind of that's why they put them together, you know. Yeah, I think that, that think something's gonna happen in Black Widow that Falcon and Winter Soldier gotta deal with that that comes back up, you know. Yeah, she's dead, though. And I think right? Task, yeah, I think Task a prequel. Master will play a part maybe in the, the Black TV Widow's show. a prequel, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. as far as my level of excitement, and you know, it, it, we gotta go back to like the TV show. Like, I was never a fan of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., <laughs> never watched Peggy Carter, yeah. Uh, or Agent Carter, I, I'm just curious as to how this is gonna like work exclusively on Disney Plus. It shouldn't be a bad move, especially since every since we know for sure that everything's, you know, super connected now. Before they were like kind of loosely based, right, uh, on the TV shows aside mm-hmm. from Agent Carter. But Agents of Shield, you didn't see any of those guys cross over into the movies. No. They just addressed things that would happen in the movies. That's right. Yeah, um, about it. But this should be all right. Anthony Mackie's great. Um, Sebastian Stan is, you know, Bucky is awesome too. Uh, it's gonna be good, and it, I think this is a good lead off into all that Disney Plus stuff. So this is I a agree. good, you know, all right, let's start it with these two guys. He's the new cap, and you know, I'm just look. I look forward to seeing. According it. to the premises, premises that the government's not going to want Falcon to be the cap, Captain America. They're not going to want. They're not going to want because of his ethnicity. That's the uh, what? That's, what, you, what? That's the what is going that's the, on? That's the that's the, the plot the plot of the of legit the show. legit. Wow, that's what has been reported Dude, on. Yeah, you did not. That's yeah. black, black Twitter swear. said that man. That I was, swear, that's not a source. And that's man. actually that that if you read the Falcon when he's uh, Captain America, that's actually one of the plots of the comic book where there's the the political realm of government doesn't want him to have the shield. Yeah. Wow. So okay, that's that's a I'm getting y'all that's ready. A, that's a deep dive for I'm Disney right there. I'm warming you guys man. up, okay? I'm okay. warming you guys up just in case. All right, all don't right. be shocked. All right, okay. um, look, uh, you know what, what can you lose? We're gonna have some Marvel Cinematic Universe action with Falcon and Winter Soldier, and you know I'm, I'm pretty sure out it'll who be the well. Bad, who the bads would be? I don't know. They haven't oh, really said point. anything about that. Like I said, maybe your Taskmaster might. might I think Taskmaster might pop up. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Good yeah, one. I think it's they're married there. That's why they're together. Like black. Black Widow and Falcon and Winter Soldier show. So, then, 
We're going back to the movies because in a date that's here, I don't know if it's correct or not, but we're going to run with it anyway. November 6, 2020, mm-hmm. Eternals, Man. which is full of star power, apparently. All the uh, characters are going to be doing all kinds of different characters. Now, uh, this is going to be yeah. happening all before, mm-hmm. like, Thanos and all this. This is like... I don't know if it's a prequel or I a think result it's a prequel. of... Hmm. I think it's going to tell think, a better story you know, of, like, Thanos. Yeah, that's what I, I heard that. Yeah. I liked and Captain his, Marvel, the prequel side of Captain Marvel, but I'm afraid that too much of these prequels, oh, let's go back and yeah, I'm, tell I'm getting, this story. I'm not going to lie. Let's I'm go getting, back and tell this story. You know, it's kind of like I'm losing getting, people. I'm getting kind of exhausted as a prequel story. Yeah, like, like I like forward momentum, you know? Yeah, Captain, Mar- Captain Marvel wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It wasn't great. It was good. It was good. It was good. It was good. The Eternals, you know, I, I hear it, it might be a good way to introduce the mutants yeah. and all this other stuff. Mm. Um, I personally don't care where mutants come from. You know, I like the idea that they're just, mm. you know, just a mutation. But we'll see. Um, when you do the space stuff, you know, it can get... Listen, we did, ego, we did ego the living planet. Yeah, that was a little dicey. That was dicey. Yeah. When you're doing <laughs> space stuff and you're doing, like, these all-powerful beings and celestials and stuff, it's going to get a little... Because the great thing about Marvel has been how grounded it was for mm-hmm. for, for the most part, you know, right. with the exception of of uh, Endgame and Infinity War, most of it was pretty grounded, you know. I mean, Black Panther did eat a magical apricot. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's magic, and uh, can we can we say there's magic? There's Doctor Strange. There's yeah, other universes. Yeah, but they uh, you know, they do we... it as, as a thing of like manipulating energy, but. If we get too far out, like Doctor Strange, probably as far out as I want them to go. Mm, we wow. start getting too yeah, far we're out. About to start and, talking about Doctor Strange soon. Huh? Yeah, let's get down. To, let's get through this uh, rundown first. Um, I I reserve judgment for Eternals. I'm sure it's gonna have something to do with their bigger good. narrative. So I'm down good. for it. Angelina Jolie's in it. Yeah. Uh, what's the old boy from ATL is gonna be in it? Um, Ryan, Tyree. See, this is why I bring you guys on the show because I forget. Yeah. This. Which you do from ATL? <laughs> the dude from ATL, the, the cousin. Oh, is he? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. The, he was also in Child's Play. Yeah, the rapper. He's a yeah, rapper. Yeah, the rapper in ATL. Yeah. 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 Brian Tyree, so I forgot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Brian Tyree, yes. All right, okay. so that Eternals, cool. that's in November, so it's not a summer temple. Mm-hmm. So should be all right. If it's bad, I guess, oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was going to think, like I said, we're, they're going to get more cosmic-y yeah. with these next mo- few movies, or some of these movies. And then, uh, like, you know, I think Tarek had it right. I think they're going to introduce, like, where mutants are going to come from. Right. Um, well, get, talking about the mutants, how they're going to introduce them. Remember, I put you onto that comic book. Yeah, and I did, did buy it. Did yeah, you I read did buy it? it. I did read it. Yeah, what it was you pretty think? interesting. It's not um, bad. Yeah, just uh, to catch you up, Tarek. Um, I forgot the name, of the, the the writer's name, but they Marvel comic book. Now we're talking about the comic books. Okay, uh-huh. they came out with this new comic book called House How, House, House of, of Powers, Powers of X. Powers of X. Powers of X. So they're kind of like retelling, not really telling, not retelling the narrative of X Men mm-hmm. of the comic book, but they're re- reintroducing the lore of X-Men mm-hmm. and they're showing like different teams throughout the decades of future and past and different universes, something like yeah, that, right? Yeah, it was trippy. Like different things that happen. Like they show like the days of future past lineup. Yeah. They show like the 90s yet lineup. They show like the a future 10 more years in the future lineup, another 10 more years in the future lineup, you know? And, it's- and they're, they're showing how they're all interconnected, whatever. Okay. Uh, other stories, whatever. It's, dope it's, how it's they, interesting how they introduce Professor X to like right in the beginning of the comic. Yeah. Like he has these powers and nobody like knows right. it. Yeah, and, and like, he's just sitting down at a carnival and some chick just pulls up next to him on the bench and it's like, I know who you are. Oh, okay. Yeah, the comic book's pretty. pretty cool. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. It's nuts. There's there's one part where Moria McTaggart is introduced as a mutant this time, and that she wow. she keeps she keeps yeah. getting re um reborn. By a different, I don't know if by the same, or she has to live the same life over and over again to try and fix uh, what happens to the mutants. Okay. So, like, and, and then she she finally remembers, like, all her af- her past lives, and she goes and tells Xavier, hey, this is what, you did this, and this happened. You did this, and this happened. You did this, and this happened. Okay. So, it's, it's, it it could get controversial. I know you don't like that. But it's a comic book, so. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm, I have a feeling that since they're already introducing the multiple universe and stuff like that, this is how they're going to use. They're going to use something that works maybe in the comic book, this retelling, into this reintroduction of the mutants in this Marvel Cinematic Universe. Okay. That, that's the speculation yeah. in the nerd world. 
Did you start that speculation, Speedy? No, that that's the speculation okay. in the world. That's why the book is selling so much because everybody's buying it, thinking they're gonna have hot hot commodities when gotcha. when they finally make the movies. All right. Yeah. Nice. So, I, thanks for putting me on the comic too, yeah, man. You see? Might, hopefully, it'll be worth something. Yeah. I will see. <laughs> if it, it was already six fruition. bucks. Uh, the, the guy in the, in the comic con was also six dollars. Yeah, it was six bucks. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's nothing. Yeah. Oh well, you know, yeah. come on, they're like throw four dollars. You know, yeah. it's like a, well, it was a variant cover. I think well, that was the one, only one he had. Yeah. Resale anyway, prices, man. So, <laughs> <laughs> the next movie is uh, Shang Chi. That is February twelfth. It's February called Legend 12th. of the Ten yeah. Rings. Uh, yes, it is a Legend of Ten Rings. Yeah. They're going to introduce finally the Mandarin. Finally. The real yeah. Mandarin in this movie and Not introduce ben him Kingsley. in the, yeah yeah and I guess they <laughs> wanted to introduce him in a proper Asian lore yeah w- without you know so they wouldn't get you know criticized. Did guess, you ever see the uh, the Thor Dark World uh, mini movie that no. was in the DVD? There was a mini no. movie. Yeah, it's actually you can YouTube it. It and it shows um, Ben Kingsley back as a Mandarin like well he's in jail mm-hmm. yeah. and he's like the celebrity because you know. People always th- thought he was mistaken for the Mandarin and yeah. he got all this notoriety. And so all these guys in jail were like happy to be around him and protecting him. And yeah, that's what's up. He was living life in, in prison. And then he gets interviewed by someone of the Ten Rings. Right. Um, well, he doesn't know he's part of the Ten Rings. So uh, until like dude just like, you know, flips the whole script and like holds the gun to his head and says, you know, we you took his name and he wants his name back. <laughs> oh, man. It's crazy. Okay. You can watch it on YouTube. I don't yeah, want to spoil too much, yeah, but... Yeah. Oh That's, yeah, yeah. I did. I did see that little mini. That little mini. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I did see. I'm gonna that. check that out. Yeah, check that out. You'll like it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, Shang Chi, of course, is the kung fu lore, and I know you guys are not fans of the Iron Fist stuff, mm-hmm. but this is this touch. This touch is all the Iron Fist stuff. This movie. Well, I'm here for Shang Chi. I'm I'm yeah? I'm more excited about this than I'm in Black Widow, mm-hmm. uh, Winter Soldier, and. Uh, so if I, they introduce some Iron Fist stuff, you're still on board, or what? I just didn't like the I didn't like the guy playing Iron Fist. Yeah, I'm okay with the lore. Yeah, you know the hand and all that. Yeah, because you know, sh- there's multiple Iron Fists throughout time. Yeah, and whatever, now they're you know. casting somebody who's knows what they're doing. Mm, you know, so it's, I got a good feeling that it'll be a you know a solid action flick. I'm there with it. Uh, I I like I kind of like some of the movies that are further away from like tying everything in together. I like some of the right. movies that are like okay, yeah, I'm, we're in this world, but this is not. All tied into Avenger stuff, so I'm I'm here for Shang Chi. Shang Chi, yeah, yeah Shang Chi. I'm here for it. Um, so everybody who's watching the video recording of this, your videos just went out because the great internet here at Beasley Broadcasting just went out. <laughs> so oh, really? we're only audio right now. It's okay. So you guys can yeah. pick your nose and do whatever. Right? Oh, good, perfect. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm I'm gonna try and fix you while we're continuing with the show here. Yeah. But you know, yeah, I apologize for anybody seeing the feed. Shang Chi, I'm really hyped for. It was like. Um, when I was curious to see what like Ant Man was gonna look like, and I ended up really liking it, mm-hmm. um, I think Shang Chi's gonna you know do exactly that, uh, and I'm and I'm just glad that like the Ten Rings like it, they're they're tying that into the whole thing too, because um, that's actually been a uh, you know been around for some time since what Iron Man two or Iron Man three I mean yeah so Shang Chi's gonna be dope. Um, and they got one of like the really good martial martial arts guys in the game, I guess right now. Yeah, playing him. Uh, Aquafina is gonna be in it too. That should be interesting. Who's that mm-hmm. now? Aquafina, that chick. Who's <laughs> that? The, the she was in the she was in the uh, the the rich Asians movie. Oh, okay, okay, oh, yes. yeah, yeah. Crazy yeah. was it? Crazy rich Asians. Yeah, crazy yeah. rich Asians. Yeah, yeah. She's funny as hell. So that's gonna be cool. Interesting. I'm not, I'm excited to see some kung fu in uh yeah in Marvel. Yeah, uh, that's uh, that's I'm hyped about that. All right. So then we get into the weird stuff. Yeah, yeah, let's get weird. Right? WandaVision starts spring 2021 in the Disney Plus, okay? And that's when we start getting wild and crazy. Yeah. And this is what the what, what Tarek is afraid of. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, you know, Wanda does lose her mind in the comic book. Just to give anybody who doesn't haven't read any comic books, Wanda Scarlet, Scarlet Witch does lose her mind. Uh, she, like, eliminates, like, almost 90% of the mutants. But one time, because she has a reality altering powers, yeah, or whatever. She also is a trained witch, but it's like, you know, in the Doctor Strange world, stuff like that. So she has magic powers as well, you know, or access to magic and stuff. So yeah. it's one of those super super powered characters, mm-hmm. you know. Plus she's a mutant, all that stuff. So she does a lot of crazy stuff. Like she destroys like Avengers HQ in one comic book where they were like all disassembled and stuff like that. Yeah, she like brought 
made like nightmares through all the Avengers and everything. Yeah. And like and I think somebody actually died. Like I think Ant Man died in that in the, yeah. in the comic book world. Yeah. Well in MCU she was able to eliminate her accent. <laughs> that was one of her abilities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um so apparently she's gonna make like different multiple universes of where actually vision is alive or something like that or or she's gonna I guess mess up reality. Because the following movie, after that show, the following movie, which is, mind you, mind the title, okay? Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. What's that now? That's the following movie after the WandaVision show. Okay. okay? So, what do you think about that? Um, Obviously, this is both for Connected, okay? Doctor Strange is allowed to do that. I'm okay Doctor with Strange that. is the weird stuff. Yeah, know? he's allowed to do that. Yeah, I, I, I'm okay with that. Yeah, um, I'm more excited about Doctor. I'm probably most excited about Doctor Strange than I am about any of the other films. Um, really? Yeah, yeah. You I, think I that's think, the that's the that's the gold the gold the golden child right there. The, well, this whole I think, lineup. I think the actor playing him can hold him. You know, his personality and everything can hold that movie. Um, you know, you, you you've lost Cap and you lost Tony. So you got to have some personalities that can right. hold movies really well, and I think Doctor Strange is that personality. Hmm. Interesting. And along along with Wong, you know. Yeah, Wong's cool. Wong, I really like Wong, and I kind of want to see if um I want to see if they do the uh, Mordru Mordru Mordo yeah. Mordo. Bear yeah, Mordo. I want to see if he, he comes back. Yeah, that's uh, crazy. Yeah, I, I, I would thought he would be the the bad in this movie. Yeah, but I mean he still could be. Right. But I heard Nightmare is gonna be the main bad in this one. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. And this is going to be cool because now WandaVision is probably going to be tied into Multiverse of Madness because she's actually going to be in the movie. Yeah. With Doctor Strange. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they're probably going to take on some wild, wild It's going to be wild. Stuff. That's all I can say. <laughs> so Between WandaVision, both, WandaVision, WandaVision is going to be Disney Plus or yes. is it going to be a film? It's going to be Disney Plus. Disney Plus. Okay. So you're going to have to go through maybe eight episodes of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy because that's what spring twenty twenty one. That's what I'm yeah. looking at. And then yeah. it's gonna like then May, that, and that's in May seventh. Uh, Doctor Strange. So too. it's gonna be literally back to back almost. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna like, be cool. So I think uh, like pregame with Wandavision, then yeah. go see the movie. And I think there will be a cliffhanger in Wandavision hmm. that will lead into. I kind of like the way they're doing this. You know? Well, they are giving us a bit of a break. Yeah, which I, I think we need from uh, all the superhero stuff. Right. For a little while, giving us a, a bit of a break. But um, I'm here for Doctor Strange. I think that's yeah. gonna be. One of the linchpin characters, you know, because he can, he's going to be all over the place. He connects to everything. Um, so I'm there for that. WandaVision, ah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what they do. See what they do. All right. So the next, talking about multi universes, Loki, spring 2021 on Disney Plus. Yeah. Because, of course, this is his adventures pre, pre, uh, I guess, becoming a hero because mm-hmm. he's still kind of a, you know, mischievous villain. Yeah. When he disappears with the test rack and Endgame. Yeah. So I guess this, this shows about that. Yeah, it follows him. Yeah, yeah. From, follows uh, him and him going through that. different timelines and yeah. just fit, trying to figure out what, what the heck's going on. Yeah. Does anybody remember when they did, remember the show What's Happening? Yeah. And they did What's Happening Now? Yeah. That's what this Loki show's going <laughs> Do we need what's happening? We already found out what was happening. Oh, And now man. we're going to do what's happening but, now. I think they're just trying to capitalize off of a very yeah. popular character. Yeah. Uh, hmm. it, it can be good. It's Marvel. So it can, it can end up being very good. It's just I don't see why. I think you're trying to do right by Tom Hiddleston because he was like he originally tried for the Thor role. Did he? Yeah, I've seen the uh, hmm. the auditions. Uh-huh. It wasn't bad. Okay, I mean Chris Hemsworth. It's, yeah, it's Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, he's Mu- large and British. Yeah, large British, muscular. Yeah, he's yeah. I I reserve judgment. I don't know. We'll see. I'll check it out. I yeah, it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. But then the next one is another Disney Plus show. I guess it's animated, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Yeah, it is. So this one's going to be animated. It's called the What If series. Okay, so I've been hearing about it's gonna this. It's going to be animated. Yeah. And that's going to be in this, uh, summer of 2021 on the Disney Plus. Yeah. I, I, I have a lot of sure. What Ifs. Yeah. About, <laughs> I already have What Ifs in my head. Yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of What Ifs about all these Marvel movies. But um, this is going to be cool. All the actors are actually going to come back. Do their voice, like, like let's do let's do a what if if uh what if Thor same, went for the head? What if Thor went for the head? What the if uh, around, yeah. what if um what's his name from Guardians of the Galaxy uh didn't, didn't hit homie across didn't, the head? Didn't, a didn't lot freak of these out. what ifs <laughs> are, 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 are from War Infinity War. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're looking forward to that. Then we got Hawkeye, which is another Disney Plus show in fall twenty twenty one. I guess okay. that's just gonna introduce Kate Bishop. Uh, Kate Bishop, yep, yeah, as the new 
Hawkeye. Is that going to be generation. animated or it's going to be? That's no, going to be live. live action, apparently. And, and I guess yeah, it's Jeremy order Renner's Clint, Bar- Clint Barton. Yeah, yeah, Jeremy Clint's going to train her and. He's her he's right. he's cool with TV shows. Like, I remember, where was another TV show that I saw him on? Jeremy Renner. Yeah, Jeremy Renner. Yeah, that, he was sure. actually pretty good. I don't remember what TV show it was. Oh, Jeremy Renner's a great actor. Yeah, he's a great actor. But, but he was in some TV TV show before you know becoming. What he is now, as far as big, he was probably. And, I think he was one of the uh, boyfriends on the Friends or something like that. I don't remember what it was, but <laughs> it was. It wasn't like an action one. It was just like normal acting. Or maybe it was a CSI show or, or yeah. one of those police Law shows or something. Law and Order. You know, I don't remember yeah. <laughs> something like that. But um, you know, he's got chops, man. So yeah, you know, no, he's good. I, I think I, he was on What's Happening Now. I'm he, not one positive. of my favorite movies by him is actually Hurt Locker. I think Hawkeye's gonna be Hawkeye's gonna be the version of Batman Beyond that that the DC people have been wanting, but in version of Hawkeye, you know, yeah. uh, like the, the old old Hawkeye. Yeah. Come on, Kate. I, I can't. Hey, I'm, Aim I'm for the head. From now on, do the rest <laughs> of the show in that voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speed, that is amazing, dude. <laughs> That is amazing. No, I, can't. I can't do it. Uh, so then uh, then we go back to the movie theater with Thor, Love, and Thunder. That's November 5th, 2021. Okay. And, I, and already announced. Yeah. And what's her name's coming back, too? Uh, Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman has already yeah. been Jane announced Foster. to be the new Thor, which is already established in, in the comic Is she going to be the Thor, or is she going to be Thor momentarily Thor, in the film? Thor Light. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like everyone's saying, she's going to. But I know, you know, we do a lot of times. We say, well, they did this in the comics. That they're going to yeah. do it in the movies. They uh-huh. do not. <laughs> they do not do in the in the movies yeah. what they did in the comics. That, that's going to come back to my other topic before yeah. we before I call in. We got an interview today, actually. If you guys can stick around for that, yeah. I know some of you can't, but but I'm here um, for it. I'm here. For, I'm here for. Um, I'm here for Thor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm down. It's uh, Takiti. What is his name? His last name. Forget his name. Last name now. I'm, don't make me sound racist. I'm not be able to say this. <laughs> I'm about to say Takiti Watu, and I don't think that's it. Yeah, well, he's close. that's close. Takiti Watiti. I don't know. He's a great actor. He's a great actor, and he's a great uh, director. Yeah, he plays. First, um, yeah, he oh, plays Korg. Korg in the. Yeah. yeah, and it was great. It was funny. Taika Watiti. Uh, Taika Watiti. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Thank you, Joey Franchise, for yeah. your internet research in front of you. So my Magic computer's doing all kinds yeah. of multiple things at the same time right now. So uh, we're looking forward to that. That's going to be great. A good lineup, decent lineup, entertaining lineup. Okay. It's so much Disney Plus. It is. Yeah. Because they so want you to Disney. buy. I, they I know. They want know. you to buy. It's, everything's a business. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, it's a business, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not mad at him. I'm not mad at him. Oh, yeah. That it just, it's just, if I was DC Universe, I'm like, man, <laughs> we messed up. Are we allowing this to happen? Yep. Yeah. We're powerful. Warner Brothers. Mm-hmm. It's not, it's not cutting it. <laughs> it's crazy. And they own all their characters. They do. Yeah. So um, then we had a uh, Blade, a future Blade movie announced, or at least the character is going to be introduced somewhere. Yes. Well, no, I think they're doing a Blade movie. He's the rude dude. Yeah, they're doing the movie. Yeah. They I think they're going to introduce him somewhere. I'm trying to figure first. out how they're going to introduce vampires. Probably in Doctor Strange. Somewhere, yeah. Yeah. He didn't just go loose. Yeah. 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 Multiverse. Doctor Strange. Mm-hmm. See, I, now, now this is a I, big Blade. Blade. Fan. You think Blade will come from the multiverse? Oh, he could. Possible. They done, they've done a bunch they of vampires. They said that Doctor Strange is going to be like a, like a, a very, gonna very scary. It's going to be scary. Yeah, it's going to be a horror movie. It's they've done a bunch movie. of variants of, of, of vampire stuff in um in the Marvel Universe. Yeah. You know, um, I wouldn't mind if Blade was not part. You know, like I, a part of me feels like you can do stuff and not have it tie into anything. Yeah. Um, we saw how successful the, I mean, they tied in the Netflix shows, but it wasn't like heavy, heavy, heavy tie in. It was like mentions. I will be happy. I'll be okay if Blade was like that. <laughs> like I don't need to see Blade and Wanda yeah. running around together. I just want to see Blade and, right. his, and Morbius, maybe you know some that'd of these other characters. Yeah. And that'd be cool to see like Spider Man kind of yeah, if he popped cro- up, you cro- know. cross over into that. Right. Yeah, like hmm. they did in the, like they did in the TV show. I think it'd be cool. But Marshall Ali, I, I like him. He's he's good. He's a good actor. And it's crazy. I didn't think about that. Like damn, like who? Like you don't you think Blade? You think Wesley Snipes? Yeah, it's he's, like Marshall yeah. Ali is like. Yeah, I think if they don't on the include Wesley Snipes some way, I think some people. Are I gonna think write. here's my prediction: Wesley Snipes is Whistler. I like it. I like that idea. I like that idea. Yeah. Don't be coming up with the dopest ideas. Yeah. We got to get you. Saying, in the, we got to get you in, get in the room. In front of Kevin, I mean, yeah. I get, I, yo, Feige, man, let's, let's, <laughs> let's, I, got, I got some <laughs> ideas, my we man. I got room, ideas. And last but not least, they announced some kind of Fantastic Four movie sometime <laughs> in the future. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think he's saving that. I think they're saving that, those big announcements for for D twenty three in a couple weeks. Yeah. Well, so, that, that, they were saying that they weren't going to do anything with X Men at least for like three years. Yeah, because they so they messed that whole thing up with Dark Phoenix. 
I like Dark they Phoenix. Ruined it. Man, they, supposedly they lost a lot of money. They lost a that, lot. that they took a hit in their their earnings for the year, like their quarterly earnings. Yeah. You, you know more about this, Terry, because you work in the sales office. Yeah, yeah, there. yeah. They they um. <laughs> so what they did was they they bought the property and then they started spending money on the advertising. Um. So they actually, um, they lost in their predictions. Yeah. The, the movie overall, I think it made like profit fifty seven million dollars or something like that. Um, but they predicted it to make more. So. It, through their quarterly, uh, Disney's quarterly uh, offerings off. But I think, um, you know, once you once it got sold, it was like, people Whatever. were like, well, well, I'll just wait. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just wait till, till Disney does it. Um, I don't know. So, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm never going to be excited about Fantastic Four movie. Ever? Just, no. Would you be more excited about Fantastic Four Disney Plus show? No. I just think Fantastic Four is corny. Really? And some people get really mad at me. But listen, Captain That's America. Okay. You don't like Captain it. Not your cup of tea is not your cup of tea. Captain America was corny to me. Yeah? When yeah. Just, just in a, a comic book. Bit. Just in the I only like Captain America when he was in the Avengers. I never liked Captain America too much yeah. as a standalone Captain comic book. Captain America that I was, was buy. never cool to me until, about, until they did Civil War. Yeah. Because was he wasn't like, wearing his helmet like that. Yeah. Right. That was the only time when he was like. They made him a little more edgy, you know, in Dark Avengers and all that stuff. Right. That's when he became cool. But all the other Captain America stuff. I wasn't really. He was just so like wholesome. <laughs> I was not not there for it. That's, that's Fantastic Four is kind of like that. It's yeah. just like, you know, the old New York cabbie voice of the thing and the pretty boy Johnny yeah. Storm. Ah. So, while I call in our my interview, I know some of you guys got to run. I know Joey's got to run. He's got to go and be in the air. Yeah. And then uh, uh, Terry's got to do his, you know, acting stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um. We're going to be talking with Marco Lopez. Um, he won a Eisner Award for that uh, Puerto Rico Strong. Remember that first, one of those first oh, interviews yeah, yeah, we had yeah. when we started the show? Yes, yes. He actually won an uh, Eisner for that at a Comic Con, at okay. the San Diego Comic Con Very cool. for uh, Best Anthology. So I'm we're going to have him on the show because he's actually working on a brand new project, uh, which is more, you know, more sci fi and, and fantasy uh, called uh, Strange Encounters. Okay. So I'm going to talk to him a little bit about that. He's got a Kickstarter going on and stuff like that. So I'm going to call him now, but I'm going to pose a question before you guys leave is um, do we have, we already had Marvel TV and now we have Disney plus. Okay. Do you think that Disney is doing right by everything that they did for t- uh, Marvel television? The time that you invested in anything on Marvel television and now we got, you got to reinvest now in Disney plus. Do you think it's proper? Do you think they're going to make it good somehow with us? With some characters maybe or maybe not? We mean, or do you think that they're just like there's a lot, there's a wall between what they do for the Marvel TV, ABC stuff like Agents of the Shield and what they're going to do for Disney Plus and then they're, they're not going to cross that line? Oh, they're gonna, what do you think? I think they're definitely going to cross the line. I don't know about the Netflix people. Characters. I don't there's think there's a lot of equity in some of these Daredevil. There's a lot of equity because yeah. there's a lot of characters that are involved in Spider Man's mythology. Yeah. I just don't know if they're going to. That may be a little too, at this point, too soon, too iconic. Yeah. From Netflix. I definitely think the Shield stuff, and you're going to see Ghost Rider um, and some of those other characters that popped up in uh, Agents of Shield. And I, I honestly don't think they care. I think, I think, listen, if you're Disney, you have Marvel and ABC yeah. and ESPN. Right. It's like, all right, well, what are y'all gonna do? You know, you're gonna you're gonna get the product. I'm getting the product. Speedy, you're gonna illegally download it. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the product. So uh, and I don't, you just want me to tell you how it is? Yeah. I don't think they're overly concerned about the consumer at yeah. this point because look all the movies we said, the shows we're like we're not necessarily crazy interested in, but we're still right. gonna see it. Right? Yeah. So at the end of the day, we're still gonna go see it. So and they're gonna do right by. They're gonna do right by us. Um, there's gonna be a lot of fan service with these Disney Plus shows. They, I think they're gonna need to have to, not only just because they have, you know, these high profile actors in these movies, uh, but you know the fact that they're gonna be super connected and lead into the next film somehow, some way. Yeah, right. Uh, it, it's 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 they're gonna do right by. It. It's not gonna be like an Agents of Steel situation where you actually don't necessarily have to watch the show. Mm. To kind of, you know, understand the movies. Yeah. Right. Uh, this is, I think you're going to need to watch everything, of, like, these TV shows to kind of know what's going on in the movies. And Very cool. It's, it's a smart move on their end because they've already built such a great, they built great stories and they've integrated them, you know, like, perfect. 
with you know all the other they you know intertwine all the movies together and now they're doing it with the TV shows. Right. Pretty good fan service. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Uh, I just wish they would. Uh, they they make good on the promise that it's everything's connected. That's all. Oh yeah. You no, know, this yeah. is you definitely connected. You cannot I, 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 unconnect I, that. I don't yeah. mind. If, I don't mind if they like as long as they're like maybe in Shang Chi they throw a little bone, little little Easter egg to to maybe some Iron Fist stuff. You know, mm-hmm. they don't have to have him come out. And, you know, and all that stuff. But you know, just sh- show us that you know that you cared about some stuff that you got us involved in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe maybe a little Easter egg to Agents of Shield. Maybe you know here and there. You know, I don't know. You know, I never liked Agents. No, no one watches Agents. I know, yeah. not anymore. I said they lo- this season is 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 wild. I, I can't. I couldn't get into it. Yeah, I heard it got really. Season. Well, I heard it got good as like the seasons went on. But yeah, like, I was I was lost after the first two yeah, episodes. Yeah. You know what y'all want to see? I want to see Fim Fam Foom. <laughs> you might get that, but the problem is I, he's, he's tied in with um uh, with another Iron with Man. another move. No, well, he's tied in with something in Universal. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't think they could use that character. There, I I read something about that. Wow. But. Yeah. We need another Hulk movie. Uh, yeah, we do oh. need another I Hulk wish movie. Universal could play nice and do. Yeah. I want to do. I want Red Hulk. You'll be surprised when oh, money I would love to see Red Hulk. You'll be, yeah. be surprised what money does with companies. You know? Yeah, I know that. I mean, look at uh. I need Thunderbolt him. Ross turn into Red Hulk, man. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That might happen. That just might happen. He needs to. He's, what, so, he's been popping up a lot. Yeah. yeah. And what are they gonna do with Venom? Like I really liked the Sony Venom. Well, um, yo, we'll see. Um, but I wonder. We'll see. Andy Serkis. Yeah. Is directing the next Venom movie. Is really? It? Yeah. So. I'm really excited for that. Mm, the Carnage will be the bad, so yeah. I got I got Marco Lopez here on, on the line. Marco, can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear oh, me? Yes, we can. Great, great. I just wanted to test you real quick before we uh, before we uh, we get into your party interview. Okay, so you hang all tight, right. all right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you think about all these uh, all these uh, all this Disney Plus stuff? You think they're gonna make good with uh, everybody who's invested time in the Marvel TV stuff, or you think they're just gonna put a line in the sand, draw a line in the sand, and move on? What do you think, Marco? Oh, that was to me. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, that was to me. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What, you um, what was the question again? Sorry. He, what was know, the question? This, the, Disney's working on the Disney Plus stuff for the Marvel, diff, all the different shows that they got that they have coming soon, and they kind of like looks like they just like abandoned the Marvel Television, the Netflix stuff, you know, uh, Cloak and Dagger, Agents of Shield. It's just, eh, you know. That they're I, uh, you know what I mean? Do you, I don't. Do you think I don't they're think they're good, or they're gonna they're gonna draw a line in the sand and just move on. I think they're gonna draw a line in the sand. I don't think Kevin Feige ever liked the television side because he never had, you know, because when it started, it was without his control. Right. So I don't think he's uh, happy <laughs> with the with the idea of what they've done. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's why they're doing the uh, those miniseries, the uh, like the Scarlet Witch one and. You know, the Captain America and Falcon. I think that's him basically saying, like, yeah, we can do everything you can do, but better. Wow. You think you think, you think think the beef is like that? Like, it's that big? I mean, there is that whole talk of uh, that Fahey and Perlmutter. You know, they don't like, like each other very much, and he didn't want Perlmutter involved with the film stuff. And, you know, and he wrestled control away from Perlmutter of that. And then he's like, you guys can just do your TV stuff and, you know, leave us alone. And, uh, honestly, I think there's, you know, uh, I don't know if it's bad blood just because he doesn't like pro or because of pro politics or he just, Kevin Feige just, you know, some people, some creative, creative people, cause you gotta give Feige, you know, that cause he has been involved in all these movies and, you know, he, you know, and, and, and shaping this world with the directors and all that. So he is involved on a creative level to an extent, you know, some creative people are just very controlling, you know, like. So I could see him, you know, the Marvel brand, the way he thinks of it is probably the way the way Pixar thinks of their brand. So to him, the TV stuff might be an eyesore to him, you know, if it's not done the way he wants it done. Right. Hmm. Interesting. So, Marco, uh, we're going to move on to you. and We're going to talk about your uh, Kickstarter and uh, congratulations on your Eisner Award for uh, Puerto Rico Strong, first off. Thank you. <laughs> How did you feel, man, when uh when you found out that you because that's pretty, that's like the Grammys for comic book writers, you know, and comic book comic book industry as a whole, you know. So how did you feel when uh when you found out you were a winner? Uh it was crazy because it was late in the morning. I wasn't there at the um San Diego Comic Con, but one of the other editors was. Yeah. Uh, but me, me and two of the other 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 editors, Neil and Derek, they live in New York. 
So I was talking to them online, and then we're also watching it go down on social media. Because they don't air, they don't do like a live, like, you know, YouTube or, you know, you know, they don't do like a broadcast for the San Diego, for the Eisner, even though it's like supposed to be like the Oscars, the Grammys, the comics, you know, and in, in, in the digital age that we live in, they could easily do a broadcast that everyone can watch it, but they don't. So we just, there are different people like Comicsology and this other company, Fanbase Press, um, that's a publisher, the publisher and a news site, they, they were doing live, live updates, and so I was just going back and forth between Comicsology and Fanbase Press, and, you know, talking, talking to Neil and Derek, Derek, and the whole time, I'm, I'm thinking, like, okay, like, this, this thing started at, at, like, 10 o'clock our time, you know, 10 or 11 our time, and then, you know, California three hours behind, so I'm like, you know, look at our award in the first 20 minutes, and then it's like, all right, done, found out whether I lost or won, and I can move on and, you know, get to bed. Like, the first 20 minutes passes, and it's like, Okay, okay, they haven't announced our award. <laughs> and then, like, <laughs> then, like the next 40 minutes passes, and it's like, maybe they forgot about our award. Then two hours in, we're like, dear God, we just want to go to sleep. Is our award going to get, is our award going to get announced or not? Um, and literally five, because the thing was supposed to end, like, I think, 145 our time. And so, but they had like five more, more awards to go after ours. So then Chip Zdarsky won his award, I think, for Spider-Man. Um, or a Spider-Man story he did, I forget. And then, so I saw somebody had posted on Twitter a screenshot of the pamphlet. And I was like, oh, we're after him. Thank God. So I can go to sleep. And then I was just sitting there like, oh, God, if I lost, I'm going to be a little mad just because like, I stayed up so late for no reason. <laughs> and then... I saw Twitter refresh itself, and it's like, winner, Puerto Rico Strong, you know, editors, et cetera, you know, our, our name, the five editors, and I, like, slammed my hand down on the table, and I was like, oh, you know, and then I cursed, I was like, this is amazing, <laughs> and I started talking to Neil and Derek, and then, you know, like, you get this adrenaline rush, and then I'm posting on Facebook, posting on Twitter, and then people are congratulating me, and I'm just like, and it was just, and I didn't get to sleep until like four in the morning because I was filled with so much adrenaline. I was just like, I can't go to sleep. I don't know what to do. No, make it. You could turn on your video, man, if you want, unless you're, uh, you know, not not. <laughs> um, I, for some reason, it, I only have like one light on. It's, it's looking like dark in here. Fine, like, don't, I, worry. I, don't worry, nothing's professional here. <laughs> I can see my. Let me try turning on another yeah. light. Um, hold on, because I have a second light source of mic. No, don't worry. Lighting things up in here. I got a bunch of stuff on the bed behind me. I hear you. Um, let me um, turn it the, off. What oh. I wanted to talk to you about was your Kickstarter. Of course, what uh, what we're really excited about. All oh, right, there you are. See, there you go. Perfect, man. So, uh, welcome to the show for the for the third time because we did talk. We talked on the on at the Comic Con, the Tampa Comic Con. Oh my goodness, yeah, you really big. Uh, we talked on the Tampa Comic Con, and then um, we did. Uh, what else did we do? Oh yeah, we did the first one when uh, you you emailed the radio station and we got you on, and then yeah, uh, yeah, Tampa yeah. Comic Con when you were over there uh, with the Luchaverse, um, you you wrote that you helped uh, with that. Talk a little bit about the Luchaverse before we move on to your Kickstarter. Um, so the Luchaverse was a uh, a partnership, partnership between Cheeto Comics, Comics, which is owned by Ivan Plaza. Um, he's a comic book publisher, um, and, and basically, uh, it was a deal between him and Mass Republic. They're a brand that deals with wrestlers, with a lot of luchadors, you know, Mexican wrestlers and stuff like that. And they deal with like, you know, uh, people that know wrestling, they deal with like Rey Mysterio and, um, uh, Lucha Bros and, um, Conan and, and a bunch of other people. Um, and they, you know, uh, wanted to do this world basically kind of like you know because luchadors are basically superheroes but they kind of like wanted to do the whole marvel dc thing um yeah so they went to because ivan had previous success doing that for um el rey he used to work at el rey and he did that with their whole lucha underground you know they had the lucha underground show and they did a bunch of lucha underground comics you know um sort of like telling you what goes on when you're not watching you know lucha underground right um so basically uh, Magic Public wanted, you know, something similar, you know, Marvel DC type thing. Um, Ivan, uh, chose me to work with him on it. Uh, we basically created the, uh, the whole world, you know, backstory. You know, we did the whole Jack Kirby Stanley 
that type, type thing. Yeah, I, re- I read um, some of them. It was very, they're very entertaining. They're very good, especially if you're a fan of, of wrestling. Yeah. yeah. I'm um, a fan of Ray, of Ray Mysterio and all that, you know, all that Mexican so did, wrestling. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I enjoyed it. We did five, we did, thanks. We did, we did, we did five one shots, shots and, and we, we treated them like, like you, you know, superhero stuff. stuff. Yeah, it's kind of like Fast and Furious meets, you know, Ray Mysterio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, he, so we did, uh, we did, uh, let's see, the, 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 the you know, the, the Conan one was, you know, played up more like G.I. Yeah, Joe. The uh, Super Astro and Solar was more played like, you know, 50s, you know, superheroes. Right. Uh, very over the top of like when Superman could move planets and all that. Um, you know, we had uh, Teen Atlas Jr. that was like Cowboy. Um, and then we had the Lucha Brothers, which was inspired by like Street Fighter and uh, Streets of Rage and Final Fight and all that. Yeah. And then we had Ray Mysterio, and he's kind of like, you know, the, the Captain America type with powers, you know, know um, that he eventually gets. gets and he's like sort of like the the the, the epitome of the whole thing. And there's like, you know, we did this whole like, because there's been other Ray Mysterios, and there was the first mask of the first Ray Mysterio, and he finds it, and it grants him powers and all this stuff. We did very classic e pulp. You know, you know, Kirby, Stanley, Stanley stuff. And they did yeah. very well. Lucha, Lucha Brothers sold out. A bunch Lucha of the books sold out. out. The trade paperback and the limited edition hardcover comes out this fall. Nice. Um, that's going to get announced, I think, this weekend. I think the date of when it's coming out is going to get announced this weekend at Lucha Expo. And I think they get something like that. Great. Great. So now yeah. Eisner winner, Marco Lopez. Who has to sign my my Puerto Rico strong book eventually one of these days? Um, yeah. The new project, the new Kickstarter, which I'm going to uh, show.
monster. You know, she's, she's like a monster, monster hunter. hunter right. You know, yeah. um, and then that's, that's what she, she does, and she's been, been doing it for a long time. time. Um, so, so the cover of the anthology is her in the eighties. Um, and, and then the story is going to be so that that uh, cover is basically the kind of like the beginning of the story because basically when you Play it, you know, 30s, 50s, late 1800s, you know, right. you really don't have to set it in one timeline. Yeah, I like it. Definitely down board for that. Okay, so drop everything so they can follow you in case uh, they, they can't figure out how to, how to go to Kickstarter and type in a oh, search. Uh, Twitter. <laughs> uh, my Twitter is at uh, Atomic Rex, A-T-O-M-I-C-R-E-X-E-N-T, E-N-T for entertainment. Uh, so that's me on Twitter. On Facebook, I just have a regular Facebook page. So if you find Marco Lopez and friend request me, uh, you'll see me. Hopefully, my my well, yeah, technically it is. I did those funny, I did those joke Eisner pictures when the award finally came in. So that's my. You'll see me holding the Eisner, or you'll see my banner is for the Kickstarter. You'll see it. You know, it says pre-order now on Kickstarter Strange Encounters. So you really can't, you really can't miss me. Um, but, but yeah, you know, you can, can uh, you can also follow, um, you know, King Skull Comics, Comics. it's uh, at King, King, King Skull Comics, um, on Twitter, it's the same on, um, uh, Instagram, I'm not on Instagram, I only do two social medias, I don't need to do more than that, <laughs> um, and yeah, and, uh, you know, just, uh, follow us there, um, check it out on, uh, Kickstarter, I think it's come so far, you know, we've done pretty, you know, I think we've only been out for six days with 20, like you said, 24 more to, uh, 24 more to go, and we've done oh, about 34, 35% of our goal in six days, so that's not bad, considering, um, Kickstarters are basically like a second job in themselves, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, um, we also have, um, a variant cover, uh, so, so there's, there's the regular, regular cover by, by Jeff Taylor, Taylor and, and then, then uh, concert uh where she's like killing you she's like fighting off these demons and zombies um uh, the other one is an, uh, you know if we make, if we make another stretch goal is you know hardcover um you know it's a variety of stretch goals there to you know make the book you know more you know uh cooler more you know more of a, a collectible yeah and then you know extra stuff to throw out throw at people you know great great Oh, so thank you so much for your time today, uh, Marco Lopez. Go right now, ladies and gentlemen, kickstarter.com. Type in Strange Encounters, or uh, I'll just put the, the the long Kickstarter link to the project in the description of this show. Uh, so you can just go direct and, you know, back the project. Help them reach their goal so we can get this great anthology, another anthology. Hope it wins another Eisner. All right? <laughs> <laughs> and I hope so. get this, this, this other great anthology out to the market uh, with the help of everyone. So thank you so much, Marco Lopez, for your time. Thank, thank you for you. coming out to Geek Culture Congress. Uh, we got to get you in the studio, man. We got to get you in the studio. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> let's let's plan ahead so that way I can't make it. <laughs> I'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. The, you got to sign uh, my book as well. That's, 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 that's really true. Cool. Yes. <laughs> I'm just going to have to hunt you down. That's all. <laughs> figure out where you're at. You're going to eat dinner somewhere. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Catch you before you leave with my Sharpie. All right, man. Thank you so much for your time here at Geek Culture Congress. And um, I hope this is a, 
a great success, this uh, brand new uh, anthology. Awesome. Thank Thank you. you. Thank you, brother. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for us here at Geek Culture Congress. Uh, Speedy Jr. signing off. Tarek and Joey had to go because, you know, they have lives too. So (laughs) follow them on all the socials that are on the video right there. You can follow Joey Franchise at Joey Franchise. Uh, You can follow Tarek at My Name is Tarek. Uh, You can follow myself on My Nocturnal Life as a DJ at DJ Speedy JR. And, of course, on of all the Facebooks, just type in our names, and you should be able to find us. Louis, Louis Gonzalez, DJ Speedy Jr., Tarek Lewis, or Joey Franchise uh, with a Z, and you can find us, okay? Thanks to Marco Lopez for your time here at Geek Culture Congress and more, more interviews from the floor of Tampa Bay Comic Con will be coming to you shortly. I got about two or three more shows uh, I need to, episodes I need to get up to on the Internet for you guys so you can uh, check out the, all those independent creators. And... We'll be back with more here at Geek Culture Congress soon. Thank you so much for your support. Follow us on the Instagram, the Twitter, uh, the Facebook. Actually, the, we don't have Twitter. Follow Tarek on the Twitter. <laughs> Follow us on Instagram and Facebook, Geek Culture Congress. Till next time, guys. Peace.